Hello, good afternoon. I am, as always, Lucha FM, your host for today, wearing a new um, football shirt. This is my. Uh, this is the shirt I got from Surprise Shirts when I was thinking about doing another football manager save. Um, it's Armenia B, uh, Bielefeld in Germany, um, but I decided against it in the end. So, yeah, but anyway, I've, I've just thought I'd wear the shirt for the next couple of episodes. Just because I quite like the colour, it's quite bright and summery. The uh, the weather's getting better. Um, it's actually not too bad outside today, and uh, so yeah, and um, yes, yeah, so where you left us off last, basically, we drew two games against some very good teams in that league, Bordeaux and Paris FC. Um, we lost to Troyes three two, and then we beat FC Annecy five one in the last game of the episode. So at least we ended with a good result. Um, we're currently 10th at the moment. We've got 20 points. We're only four points away from the playoffs. Um, so plenty to play for. So yeah, as always, I just wanted to say thank you. And if you aren't already, can you please subscribe, like the videos, comment. Just give me some sort of feedback. Let me know whether you like it or not. If you don't, I learn from more. I learn from bad feedback more than good feedback. Obviously, I appreciate good feedback. Don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, just let me know either way. But um I'll be back in a set with the first part of the episode. Right, so here we are. We've got Grenoble in the first game of the episode. I do think we can win this, but as you know, on this save, anything can happen. Um, Fontaine's back in defence. Him and Boris are playing together for the first time since mid last season. Um, Diagne's basically took over from Boris in the centre mid uh, centre of defence, but. Nice to see the, the two old boys back in defence together. Uh, we've got Costa as right back for this game. Tete in midfield. And Pizard and Dossu as the wingers. And I think the rest is about it's basically the same as before. I think, uh, I think Drama will be back soon enough. Oh, he's playing. He is back in the team. Sorry. So Viltar's not playing this game though. You can tell the quality of play when Viltard or Drame is not playing. They're very key um, key players in our, how we set up our team, especially Viltard because he's quite he's got that creative little spark about him. Drame does a very good job of keeping the control, keeping the ball, um, giving it to more skillful players. So they are very when they're together, we play a lot better. When one of them is injured, we kind of falter a bit. Oh, Kofi nearly scored from the other. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. It was a good goal. In, in fairness, that was a good goal by Grenoble. Um... I've been publishing short videos, clips from my, uh, my the, the, from these videos. So I hope people like them, the short videos. Let me know in the comment section if you do. If they're a bit annoying, let me know. Like I said, I'm always in. I'm always here for feedback. Oh God, two 0 Ah. <sighs> I don't know why I thought we could beat these. Then again, no. I was going to say we got a, we got a goal then. I thought we'd have, we'd have scored that. I'd have been a little bit more confident, but it is what it is. Um, are they going to score again? Probably. Oh my god, we were lucky they didn't score then. They are just outplaying us at the moment. Yeah, I think maybe, I think that was a, a beating FC Anesty was probably a bit of a blip. I think we do need to change our tactic for the next game. Uh, uh, to be 2-0 down after 13 minutes is not good. We need to probably be a little bit more defensive, solid, defensively solid. I do like this tactic though, that's the problem. 
Actually, do you know what? I'm going to keep the tactic going until the fans or start criticising my lack of changing tactics, which probably won't be long. Oh, Jamal, though. He used to play for Bury, didn't he? If I'm right. No, Barnet. That was it. I knew it was something to be. Uh, went to Grenoble on the free transfer. Right, 3 0. Game over. And I feel like it's only going to get worse. 25 minutes play, we're already 3 0 down. It's quite worrying. Come on, let's get a goal. Let's. Uh, oh, that was a terrible pass, Bizarre. Right, can we have another go at this now, please? Let's get some slight hope before the first half ends. <clears throat> Drame. Beautiful ball, Dossi. Bizarre. First time cross by Bizarre. Get in, Kofi. That's what we like to see. Right. Fire up. Let's see what we can do now. A pissed off uh, so show might end up getting something out of this. Oh, God, here we go. Why did I open my big mouth? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Maybe I should have gone encourage instead of fire up. I'll try encourage. See how we get on with the encourage shout. Oh no, that was a good goal. I feel like he was offside though. Let's see. Oh, okay. Stand corrected. I thought it was miles offside, but who am I to say? They are, they always get it right, don't they? <laughs> Get in. Good, good, good. We've got some goals in us. We're just leaking them, unfortunately. At least Kofi and Fatar scored. That's the only plus out of it. At least our strikers are uh, banging in the goals today. Bloody hell at the bar then. That defence is letting us down. Come on, Boris and Fontaine. Uh, focus. Let's try focus. See if that does anything. Right, Boris gives it to Drame. Uh, Dosu back to Boris. Tete sends it to Kofi. What are you doing all the way over there, Kofi? Kofi, what are you doing? Get back up front. Right, Tete. Good ball to Fatar. Pazard now. Is the comeback on? Mm. Oh, no, it's not. No. Yeah, it definitely would have been easier to score. Well well said, commentator. Right. Dossu's coming off. Weisbeck can come on. Uh, Fontaine's coming off. And we'll put Di uh, Diagne on. And then Tete can come off. We'll put Acker on. See how we get on from this. There we go. Much better. Right, Kofi. See what you can do now. That's it. Well done. Keep possession. Drame. Gives it back to Kofi. Kofi over the top ball to Fatah. Get in. The comeback is on, lads. We're going to do this. If we end up getting a point out of this now, it would be probably the greatest result in the club's history by the looks of it, the way it's going. Oh, Kofi's knackered. Okay, right, we'll put Vaz on. Hope the youngster can uh, have a performance of a lifetime in this game. Costa. Weisbeck. Oh, we lost the ball now. Now it's in their possession, which is quite worrying. They're going to kill us off now. Any hope we've got of getting a, a point out of this, they're going to kill off now. It's the uh, in inevitable. Oh, maybe not. Pazard. Is this going to be our highlight after all that? Go on, Pazard. Keep going. Oh, that was unlucky. Great. That was a good ball by uh, Pazard, though. Right. Uh, so we've got two goalkeepers on the bench and a left back. That's not good. We'll have to take off Bastion, then. I don't know why we've got two goalkeepers on the bench. 
I think what I need to do is start calling up a few players from the youth team. I feel like this team's a bit stale now. We need to get some young blood in here. Young, fresh blood in here. Come on, Da Costa. Oh, I thought it was going to score then. Still got a chance. Right. Weisbeck with the short corner. Dummy by Silver. Or it might have just been a misplace there. Pizard. Oh my god, what were you doing, Boris? What the hell was that? Okay, right, throw in. This might be the last highlight of the game. Is this our last chance? Weisbeck? Oh, Weisbeck, what are you doing? Come on, let's get the ball. Let's make this our highlight. Come on. We don't want it to be their highlight. No. Nope. No, nope. that's it. Good. Right, we've got retain the ball. Boris, don't mess up now. Acra with the ball. Oh, here we go. Bizarre. Man of the match for us so far. Oh. All right, got a corner. I think this is definitely probably the last one of the last chances of the game. Let's see what we can do. Weisbeck, who's pretty good with corners. Floats it in. Headed. Oh, cleared by them. Got protect. Oh, no. Nothing comes of it, no. No, I think that's it. Oh, that's such a shame. Ah. Oh, that would have been nearly comeback of the season, that would have been. But... We scored three goals. We showed a bit of fight in the second half. So we've got to try and take some positives from that. We lost, but um, I think I think we would have... If I hadn't took Kofi off, I think we would have probably got a draw, but he was knackered. I just... I don't want to risk it. I don't want him being out for months because that will, that will ruin us more than that. So, right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, we're back. Um, we have got a French uh, Coupe de uh, France match now against a team that we should be able to beat. So I'm just going to do um, pick youth prospects. So hopefully, yeah, it's automatically um, got a lot of our young players on there. So that's good. Um, transfer news. I've decided to get rid of Fontaine. He's just not, even though he's an influential influential player, um, I think he might be our captain. Um, let's have a look. No, he's not our captain. But yeah, he's an influential player. Uh, experienced pro, but he's just not, he's not good enough. He's just, he's not good after that display. I just need to get rid of him. So hopefully this is a tryout today for, um, I'm not going to pronounce his first name, but uh, actually I will try. Dalang, no, see, I've already have messed it up. Dalang, un, un, no, hold on. Dalaguni Pole Gomez. There you go. You've got to break it up into three. Dalaguni Pole Gomez. We're just going to call him Gomez. Um, in fact, he's not doing well in training, so that's not a good sign. Oh, typical. Right, so he's, his morale's down now. Um, just before a game as well, which is never good. But yeah, he, he's getting a tryout. 20 years old, actually, I'm going to call him up. He's 20 years old. He should be in the first team by now. And then we've got Samaza, who's a bit more promising. Uh, unfortunately, he's got a temperamental personality, so I don't know how that's going to work out for him. But 16 years old, potential to be a good player for us. So it'll be a tryout for him in the long run, see how he gets on. But yeah, there's a lot of players here. I think the only there's a, there's only Drame I can see that oh Silver Silver Drame um, that are experienced players. Obviously, Vaz has played quite a bit, but. Yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Um, also, Weisbeck has decided to stay after moaning. He's asked for his transfer request to be rescinded. So I've, kept, um, I've took him off the transfer list and also offered him a new contract. So hopefully he'll stay with us for a few more years. But yeah, Carzenti's playing. I uh, remember him from last season. So never, I don't, I don't, So we've got a few debutants. I think Gill's one of them. Samasa's one of them. Patricio's played a few games for us. Uh, Gomez, um, Fe uh, Faber, Fabre, sorry, Fabre, Fabre, and Isanga, Isanga. God, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Right. I'm looking forward to the clip of that with me butchering people's names. Go on my YouTube channel in a couple of days' time. Look at the YouTube short of me butchering these names. Anyway, right. Let's see how we get on. 
Garzenti are impressing already. That's good. Obviously keen to make a good impression. Gill's not making a good impression. Bloody uh, booked after two minutes. I'll just see that Hulk. Okay, we just scored. I know. Uh, let me just watch that again. I missed that. Sorry. I was a bit confused by uh, the name on their team. Hulk. I wonder if it's the real Hulk. There we go. Good goal. Right, let's have a look. No. It's another Hulk. You can't have this. You can't have the same name as the greatest Brazilian striker ever. Hulk. No, he's not the greatest, but um, he's got the greatest name ever. And then this poor bloke's bloody uh, took it off him. Right, Silver with the free kick. Oh, that was a good free kick. That was. How's that not a corner? Nice to see Izanga. Let's have a look at him. Izanga, 17 year old Congolian player, yet to sign a full, uh, full time contract with us. But let's see if we can offer him one now. We can. Good. But yeah, he looks like one for the future as well. We're, we're, we're very well blessed in strikers, young strikers. I feel like Rubinho, Vaz has not exactly played that well. Then again, he's barely played, so I won't hold it against him. He's doing well in training and he's improving as we go along. So, And he'll probably score a hat-trick today just to prove me wrong. Anyway, 1-0 up. I like the opposition's... Um, Kit there with the striper cross looks quite nice. Oh no, one one. Was that meant to happen? Are they a good team? I've never heard of them. I just assumed they were a rubbish team. Oh, well, second half will have to be. Oh god, here we go. They're going to score again here. Yeah. Oh, good interception. Go on, Drummy. Experienced pro in this young team today. Vaz. Oh, look at that. There you go. That's why I that's why I back you, Vaz. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> right, 2-1. Let's get a couple more goals. Let's uh let's get some of these youngsters scoring. Right, Drummay's knackered. Let's take him off. And let's put him on. Uh, Gill's not playing well, but I don't think we've got anybody else that can replace him, so he'll just have to stay today. Right, there we go. We've got the possession again. Beautiful little first first time passing. First time first touch up, sorry. What's it called? First time touch passing. Oh, I don't know. You know what I mean. First touch pass in, isn't it? That's what it is. I think that's what it is. Go on. Get in, Carzenti. Interception by him. Vaz, beautiful pass. Look at that. Go on, Vaz. Get in. Vaz gets another one. That's game, set and match as far as I'm concerned. Right, Vaz has got the ball again. Is he going to get his hat trick in this game? As I predicted. Fabre, Fabre, sorry. There you go. Debut, two debut goals there today. Two day, uh, two debut scoring. Sorry. Oh, Zanga's playing really well. One goal, one assist. All right, let's see if we can take off Patricio. He's not been playing particularly well. We'll put him on. Uh, I think we will take him off and we'll put uh, we'll put him on. And then in a, in a second, there we go. Right. What I need to do, do some tinkering because Delphus is an attacking midfielder, so we need to put him in here. We need to put him in a more familiar position. So we'll put him as a Masala. Uh, Fabre, Fabre is knackers. So we'll put Lubro on. Lubeo. Um, I think that's it. There we go. Oh, 
Four one though. We're doing well. That means we get to play another game in the Coupe de France, which means the youngsters will get another first team football experience. Because we're not expecting to do particularly well in the French Cup, the Coupe de France. So it's just nice to give the youngsters some experience in a, in a non-pressured situation, as far as I'm concerned. Dosu's not played very well in goal. Dosso, sorry. In fact, oh, I can't take him off. They got a player called Mabongo. Oh my god, that that Mabongo. It's that drink that I used to drink, that tropical drink uh, we always used to drink as kids. Is it I don't know, is it Bongo Bongo Mabongo? Oh I can't remember what it's called now. Had like a it was a tropical kids drink. Kids from the eighties and nineties will know what I'm on about. Any youngsters, you'll have no idea. They do they still sell it though, so actually anybody might know what I'm on about. I swear they still sell it unless Unless I've got that wrong. I, th I, th I've got, I think I've seen it somewhere a couple of years ago. So I don't know whether it's in the re recently, but I think in the last like five years, I think they still sold it in Sainsbury's or somewhere. Mabongo, Mabongo. I'll have a look offline in a sec once I finish this match. Delphus. Oh, good shot. Blasted at the keeper. Yeah, some good performances. Vaz, uh, Isanga, uh, Fabre. Some good performances there. Nice to see some of these prospects still doing uh, doing well. Sorry. Right, let's have a look at the development centre. Look at this. Look at this ridiculous how many players we've got here that are talented. Right, he needs to be in the first team. Um... Actually, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. Right. When's the next game? Six days' time. Okay. See you in a sec. Right. So we're back and uh, we've broken some records. Andre Riviera's appearance at the age of 16 years, 102 days. Or so show away at Trill uh, Sack in the Coupe de France. It's a new team record. Um, he's beaten the previous record, which was by Alan. Pujet. Have we still got him here? We have got him still here. Um, so he's beaten that by 102 days. So I think we're going to might struggle for a while to have somebody break that record, to be honest. And he is really good as well. I mean, look at him. He looks absolutely amazing. Him and Galvez are going to be our right backs for the next 10 years. And uh, we've still got to Costa as well, who's peak of his powers at the moment. And then we've got a new record for the... The youngest ever goal scorer in uh, Fabre, who scored at the age of 16 years and 182 days. Um, the previous goal scorer was Emmanuel Kalutu, who netted at 16 years and 251 days. So, uh, yeah, so it's nice to see youngsters breaking records. Uh, we're now playing Peyu. I think I put or Pew. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm going to call him Peyu. Peyu. No, I'm going to call him Pew. There you go, Pew. Um, yeah, so back to normal with our lineup. Fontaine's playing instead of Boris, so um, we have had a few bids for Fontaine. In fact, I'm going to put Boris in for Fontaine, I don't trust Fontaine anymore. Um, uh, Viltar's back, which is really good. We've got him and Drame there. Um, Silver keeps his place as left back for now. Weisbeck is playing, and that's about, that's about it, really. Everything else is back to how it is. Uh, Silver and Drame are lacking match fitness, so they probably won't be able to play the whole game. But yeah, let's see how we get on. Payu are just slightly behind us in the league. So we need to be top of our powers to beat these. Oh god. But yeah, oh, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? Brit. Asambalonga Asam Asambalonga signed for, on a free transfer 
didn't really work out for him, did he? He did all right. At, he did well at like Middlesbrough and Forest and all that. Like, but you, you know, the way they were touting him as the next big thing, and then uh, he didn't go on to play for a top four Premiership team uh, or a team abroad like that. So I don't know what happened there. He was pretty good though back in the day. He had a good goal scoring record for Middlesbrough and Nottingham Forest. And uh, you asked their fans, they absolutely loved him. Did I say Notts Forest? I meant Nottingham Forest. I don't want to offend any Nottingham Forest fans. Weisbeck. Ooh. I don't know why Nottingham Forest fans get in such a hissy fit about that. I mean, does it really matter if people call the club Notts Forest? I know that they're Notts County or they're rivals, but are they really? Do they, do they even play against each other often? No. It's not really a rivalry if you don't play each other, is it? Let's be honest. Any Nottingham Forest fans or Notts Forest fans, let me know in the comments section your opinion on it. Maybe it's maybe I'm missing something here. Let me know. I just don't see why they're getting such a a huff about it. It's like the club I support, Man United, Manchester United. Sorry. Everyone calls them Man United, but there's also Man City. But I don't get in a huff and say, no, it's Manchester United, not Man United. I just get on with my day like a grown-up. Oh, that's a, that's a red card. There you go. Hopefully that will work out in our favour. Free kick, Silver, who's got a pretty good left foot on him. And it is in his range as well. Nah. But we should be able to turn things around in this game now. But I say that, it's a dreaded curse. Anytime an opposition player gets red carded, it usually just doesn't change anything about the result. Um, let's take a few players off there. See if that'll make a difference. It doesn't look like it's going to make any difference, sadly. Ugh. We're just cursed to be 10th this season, aren't we? I just feel like no matter what we do, we're going to do just about enough to stay in that position, and but not... It's going to be a very frustrating season, I think, by the looks of it. Um, anyway, I'm back in a sec with the last game of the episode. Right, so now we're playing um, Rodez AF in the next game. Let's hope we end this episode uh, with a good result. Um, D'Agni's back in the team. Oh, no, he played last game, didn't he? Fontaine's in for Boris. So I think Boris didn't play particularly well. In fact, I'm going to get rid of Boris as well. Just don't think he's good enough. Uh, we're not going to get much for it, but much for him by the looks of it, though. Right, so Fontaine and D'Agni in centre defence. Galvez is back as right back. Bastian as left back. Hovav in goal, and then we've got Drame and Viltard in midfield, Weisbeck and Pizard on the wings, and then Fatar and Kofi up front. I'm going to start being a little bit more, um, if you're not good enough, you're out. I've just got rid of uh, Lubeo as well, because he, he hasn't really played well, and he was not doing well in training, and he was only rated at two and a half star potential, so... I've released him. Good goal by Kofi. That's a good way to start the game. Seven minutes played. 1-0 up already, which is good to see. Drame with the assist. Ooh, we're up to ninth now. Probably the highest we've been all season by the looks of it. Get in. That's more like it. Why can't we play like this every game? 2-0 up. Great little header there from a wise bet corner. So we're currently eighth, actually. So it's probably the highest we've been all season, I reckon. Well, in recent parts of the season. 
If we end the season as 8th, I'll be ecstatic. I would like to have got into the playoffs, but the likelihood is in it. If we got into the playoffs, we probably wouldn't have uh, won the playoffs. Oh, good ball. Go on, Kofi. Oh, there we go. Nice follow-up by Fatah. I feel like if anybody hits the post and then somebody scores from the rebound, I feel like that should be a rebound. Um, I feel like that should be a, an assist to the person that hit the post. I feel like it's a... Uh, I know when I used to play football, I used to purposely hit the post so then somebody could rebound from it when I used to play football because <laughs> I used to get bored. As... I wasn't the best player in the world, but I had a decent shot. I mean, I used to score quite a lot of goals because, I mean, I was playing in a little park. It wasn't like a proper football game. Um, and uh, I lost interest in playing football by the time I was uh, at college and school and stuff. I just couldn't be bothered with it. So I didn't have the um, the best ball control, so I got re really, I got into my own head, and I got um, I got really nervous when I used to play football. So I never used to like I never used to like having the ball. I used to like playing um, crossbar challenge uh, or like heads and volleys where there's no pressure and you're just having a laugh. I was pretty good at that. But as soon as you put me in a match situation, I just if you give me the ball, I panicked. So and it's such a shame because I think if I got past that. I'd have been all right. I was pretty good at crossing as well. Um, I had a bit of a toe poker foot. I was left footed as well, which is it's it's more frequent now. But back when I was a quick when I was a kid, most kids were right footed other than me. Um, so yeah, so I think I would have been a decent left back maybe, uh, or or a left winger in putting the crosses. Because I at the time David Beckham was my favourite ever player, um, so I tried to be like him. I tried to do the crossing like him and stuff like that. I tried to do the free kicks like him. So um, yeah, is his name? His name is Kill Killian Corridor. Killian Corridor, what a name! But yeah, anyway. But I did. I do have a very good record for my. Uh, college football team I played once I scored one goal it wasn't the best goals in the world it was a, it was a sick it was like a somebody had a shot the goalkeeper parried it out and I literally just chested it in um, I still did a Jurgen Klinsman dive into the mud and it was probably my greatest sporting accomplishment ever so I was quite chuffed and I, I still I still stand by the fact that I've got the best goal scoring record in the uh, college team no one else can boast they've got one goal from one appearance like, like I can. So uh, yeah, Fun, good times. Many, 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 many years ago now. Uh, how many years ago was that? I'm 39 now. So you're looking at what, 23 years ago? Oh God, that's depressing. Um, yeah, 23, 20, 22 years ago maybe. I was 17 at the time. Um, yeah, I'm getting old now. I'm 40, I'm 40 in two months time. Oh, okay. Oh, that was that was lucky. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it really, but yeah, like I said, wasn't the best playing football. Right, crossing it in. Oh, go on, Kofi. Let's uh, let's get another one. Oh. I want more goals. I want this team to keep scoring. Because it might come down to goal difference at the end of the day and getting certain league positions. Uh, the more goals we score, the less goals we concede, the better. We do concede a lot of goals. But uh, fair play to Fontaine and um, Diagne. They played well today. Diagne, Diagne especially played really well. If we could clone Diagne, um, we wouldn't need to worry about the, the gap that Boris and Fontaine are going to leave. Oh, damn it. I would have liked a clean sheet. Still a bit of time left as well, which is quite concerning. Right. Free kick to us, Viltard. Loses the ball. We get regain possession through Galvez. Fontaine gives it to Bastian. Bastian back to Fontaine. Fontaine, for some reason, sends it all the way back to the goalie. Not very uh, forward thinking there by Fontaine. 
Again, that's a reason why I want to get rid of him. Good goal, Kofi. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be allowed, though. Let's see what VAR says. Oh, no, goal awarded. That's good. Kofi with his second goal of the game. Will he get his hat trick? We'll see. God's sake. Lack of concentration now, right, Bastian, you can come off. Uh, we'll take off Bazard because he's not playing particularly well either. Put the Baz on, on the left wing. Right, Bazard gives it to Silva. Biltard. Back to, uh, to Fontaine, gives it to Drummond. Back to the goalie again, come on. That should be like a last resort. There was players there you could have passed it to. Right, Dosu. Oh, nearly got another assist. All right, Drame. Oh, we can't take any more players off now. Uh, Dosu's playing well, though. Got one assist, doing well so far. Right, Silver gives it to Vaz. Passing it around nicely there. Viltar with a nice forward pass. Uh, Kofi gets tackled but manages to pass it to uh, Galvez before he did. Galvez with the cross. Uh, that was Vaz, I think it was. Headed it straight to the goalkeeper. Dossi. Beautiful ball. Go on, Fatar. Get in. Oh, come on, I was just just have a word with yourself, ref. Get your finger out your ear. Yeah, good man. We love the AR here. Great, a great game of football for any away fans that turned up to this game. A very entertaining game indeed. Oh my God, that was hilarious by Silver. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. He was just running, didn't know where the ball was coming. Oh, that was terrible, Diagne. I expect better from you. That's something that Fontaine would do. Right, not long now. A few minutes left. Hopefully that'll be it. Well, we're up to eighth now. Uh, that's good. It's amazing how one result can just change where you are. We were tenth and now we're eighth. So, wise bets out for three to four weeks. Yep, Kofi done well. Right, so let's have a look where you leave us at the end of this episode. Um, we've got, we're eighth in the league, played 17 games, won six, drew five, drawn five, and lost six. So not too bad. Uh, average season so far, but quite good actually overall. I don't know, our highest ever position was, oh, I don't know, it won't tell me. Why won't it tell me? Oh, well done, it does. One moment about third. There you go. So we're as high as second and third, and then we've just kind of gone down, but we're going a little bit up. Hopefully we can keep going up. You never know. We might make the playoffs. So we're only... Well, actually, I say we might make the playoffs. We are uh, eight points behind Paris FC, so mm, highly unlikely, and we've got Orkser and JCO ahead of us. But you never know. There's still plenty of the season to go. We're only in November. We've got all these games. We've got the Coupe de France uh, game next as well. So next episode, you'll you'll have, you'll see the uh, Coupe de France. So you'll see the youngsters playing again, and then we've got Angus, Ulxa, Ruin, and I'll probably play Bastia as well if I've got the time. So yeah. Anyway, I'll be back soon. Um, I think I'll be back on. Uh, let me think. Saturday. I think Saturday is the next episode for this. So yeah, so we'll be back soon. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.